This was another relatively simple project, but it's giving you the chance to go over some concepts in a little bit more detail, while also squeezing in a few more concepts alongside. Going over things again in a different way is always helpful to learning, so I hope you don't view this game, or indeed any of the games making this series, as a waste of time. Yes, in this project we went back to Interface Builder, Auto Layout, Outlets and other things, but at the same time we've learned about at 2x and at 3x images, asset catalogs, UI buttons, CA layer, UI color, random numbers, actions, UI alert controller, and more. And you've got a finished game too. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you should try building on this app to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, try showing the player's score in the navigation bar alongside the flag to guess. Second, keep track of how many questions have been asked and show one final alert controller after they've answered 10. This should show their final score. And third, when someone chooses the wrong flag, tell them their mistake in your alert message. Something like, wrong, that's the flag of France, for example.